Huntsville's District 5 includes some of the fastest growing portions of the city. The city council candidates running to represent that district say they each have a plan to help ease the growing pains that come with that rapid expansion. Tonight, News 19's Kayla Smith is speaking to Councilman John Meredith and District 5 candidate Kim Lewis. In less than three weeks, the people living in Huntsville's District 5 will have the opportunity to choose their city council member. There's even more uh, to be done, and that's why I'm asking for people to vote for me. John Meredith has served on the Huntsville City Council for the past four years. Before he was elected, he worked as a lobbyist in Washington, D.C. He says he brought that experience to the local level. Out here, growth is arguably the number one issue. Uh, I say arguably only second to schools, uh, but I don't have any jurisdiction over the schools, so I have to focus on, on growth. Meredith says he's proud of the role he played in bringing a new fire station to Burgreen Road, finishing road projects, and expanding green spaces. We have multiple zoning um, in, in a lot of our projects moving forward that will allow us to have a far more varied housing stock, um, hopefully addressing some of those affordability issues. Meredith's challenger, Kim Lewis, is a Huntsville native and longtime member of the business community. The reason why I'm running and what led me to this point, I am a business owner here in the community. I'm invested in this community. I'm an owner company, Project XYZ, been in business for 22 years. She's worked with small businesses in organizations across the city, including serving as the chair of the Huntsville Madison County Chamber of Commerce. I want to make sure that we have a decisive plan of what needs to happen to make sure that it's growing at a pace that includes all the citizens that live in that area. She says District 5 needs more resources like schools, fire and police stations. We want to make sure that people actually get out and vote on August 27 to make sure their voices are heard because if they're not, we're going to end up in some of the same predicaments we're in now. In Huntsville, Kayla Smith, News 19. Now, if you're not registered to vote quite yet, Monday is the last day to register for those municipal elections. The polls will open on Tuesday, August 27th.